Actually, that stopped yesterday. Uh, Fairchild just stopped like a minute ago. He's going 70 right here. I don't need to slow down, dude. I gotta take a picture of your, your VIN, okay? Because it ain't pulling up because it's a dealer tag. Yeah, that's what uh, happened with my last car. I'm trying to get my bonus tag, so. Okay. Yeah. Alright, man. You gotta crack your window, okay? This is the Philadelphia Eagles' is Jalen Carter. Jalen, Sergeant Schulte with the police department. Sorry we got to meet like this, bud. He has dealt with his fair share of scrutiny for his past, including his time at Georgia. However, there is a report out from none other than a fellow NFL player, this man, John Feliciano. Carter weighed in on Instagram of Feliciano after news came out, which we'll share shortly. Same dude who spoke on my dead teammate and the reason I was emotional during our game, SMH. Feliciano responded in a tweet saying, dude told me he was going to murder me and my kids would never see me again three times because I was laughing at him after getting a flag. That would be one tweet. I said, I believe you. You got a body. Then he continued for weeks posting my family and reaching out to my friends. Firstly, before we get into it, if there are any stories that we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. DMs are open all over the place. I look forward to your submissions. So, of course, what is Jalen Carter referring to? I'll tell you. It's the death of Devin Willock, which occurred in 2023. As a result of a traffic accident. It was later found that Carter was involved. Street racing Georgia football staffer Chandler LaCroix. LaCroix lost control of her vehicle, hit two utility poles, and died along with Willock in the incident. Not necessarily something to joke about. Furthermore, from SB Nation and James Detour, as a result, Jalen Carter was eventually charged with reckless driving and street racing. He pled no contest and was punished for it. It was a monumentally stupid incident, one which will follow him forever. That is true, but that doesn't mean it should be fodder for trash talk during a game. Now, with all of this being said, Feliciano would then add this. If you dish it, you got to be able to take it. He talked about my kids. I made that reference. I lost a friend to an accident too, so I understand why he was upset. I did feel bad though about apologizing until he started posting my kids on his Instagram. Then I had to get the NFL involved. Feliciano would then tweet a screenshot to show the proof. It was of Jalen Carter making what one could easily take as a threat. Not good, especially when the photo does indeed have Feliciano's children. To say he crossed the line is a huge understatement. The biggest wrinkle we learned was Feliciano already went to the NFL regarding Carter in December, meaning they have complaints on the record for two plus months as of this taping. So Carter, from a locked Twitter account, a private Twitter account, not locked, a private Twitter account would tweet this. I'm trying to be the best ever. Some people just trying to get traded. It's because he already see y'all calling me a blank, so he's just going to keep that going. He knows y'all are going to love it. I can't beat that if you got the fans on your side. Then you're right, I guessed. He must still be drunk. Now, why exactly did he put he must still be drunk? I'll show you. This was a reference to Feliciano admitting he was hung over when throwing a teammate under the bus in the public space of... Twitter, very, very bad moment from Sports Illustrated. Jalen Carter slipped in the first round because of character uh, questions. And now, despite the aforementioned brilliant football skills and increased maturity, Carter, who would be wise to take the issue of death seriously, has made it clear he's still got a lot of growing up to do. I would certainly say so. Seems like absolutely no one is winning in this scenario.